பொன்னியின் செல்வன் டூ வெற்றி நடை போடுகிறது உங்கள் லெஜண்ட் சரோனாவில் சம்மர் ஏசி மேலா சிறப்பு விற்பனை பிரத்யேக அணிவகுப்பு ட்ரெண்டியாக ட்ரெடிஷனலாக ஸ்ரீகுமரன் தங்க மாளிகை சிராம் அண்ட் சிதராகவன் வெல்கம் டு கலாட்டா பிளஸ் Hello, hello. We keep hello. talking all the time outside, but I guess this is like first formal yeah, yeah. Like, like interview. And you didn't even know this was a video interview. I had no yeah. idea, otherwise I would have worn a Hindi t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so you just thought I was coming by to chat and then suddenly you discovered, oh my God, I have to be in front of a camera. So it's like a good situation to be in. You know, that's tomorrow that's you can okay. write something I mean, yeah. about it. So, you know, I, I just want to ask, you're a director, you're a writer. How come you guys have never worked together? but we have we have done in the early part you know in we did a lot of tv together tv right yeah. right no but i'm saying like movies no ha you don't say hey bol na tu bol no no we we sort of uh, we did try and we do interact and exchange i mean of late because the kind of movies is doing are not my zone and uh, the kind of movies i'm doing so but we do i mean right now after this thing is over i'm going to show him a few initial moments of my film to see whether it helps and all that so sab hai is he a very critical person this is good i mean that's how <laughs> you tear, tear it apart <laughs> no i think even vice versa i used to give him scripts to read so his kind of comments will be the script needs abbas mustan i am only mustan so you know you know like rude comments you know like generally so yeah i mean that, that, honest honesty or criticism I mean, it, it, it's what it is yeah yeah so i thought the kind of movies he's making uh would be right up early i was in, actually going to ask him to go go to yashraj and say please let shriram direct one of the spy movie uh, spy verse movies because you did agent we know actually I, mean, i don't know there are now maybe there are too many of them you know there are too many i mean wherever you go you get a lot of you know even on the on the net there will be like you know i mean all kinds of spy and this and that so somehow i mean uh, and since i've done one and which uh, didn't work for whatever reason i mean one reason is it didn't it wasn't as good as it should have been but uh, yeah so i don't feel like going there right now okay. though i mean i do get tempted by a sequel to agent vinod you the, should yeah hmm? yeah actually that movie is nobody talks about it because it didn't do well but when i go for all these you know uh, script classes and all they almost talk about it like that that person who ran away or something embarrassed you know and they'll talk about the other movies they'll not talk about that i like to talk about that because it's like it's great great fun i was actually going to like bring that up because like you know that's the one movie in your career which i mean the other films have either gotten critical acclaim or commercial success whatever or sometimes both this is the one film which is the kind of an aberration in 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 shiram raghavan's uh, thing like how do you look back at it now see when we initially got the in fact he was working on that movie for a while so i'll tell you about yeah, that yeah i was actually working on it i wrote a great opening sequence which yeah, i still yeah, love yeah yeah <laughs> and uh, when we began i mean saif actually had the idea of uh, you know this title and i love the title i love the mahendra sandhu version so i thought it will be a nice camp movie you know and uh, that was my whole thing euro spy that was my plan now along with euro spy i also like siriana i also like munich so i wanted to mix a bit of those things also and we spent a lot of time trying to get a, a story together you know i mean uh, i think he wrote some 200 stories yeah and and many many number of stories but at least five or six at least five or six versions we had zyada <laughs> no we had openings and all that but eventually i mean the thing is i felt uh, the one mistake i made is to take it for granted that the story is not vital the sequence is a vital ah. i mean i thought like like if you take octopus it is what is the story of octopus i mean if you give me a crow i can't tell you right now <laughs> yeah. no i can i'll get lost somewhere in between but when you're watching it is great fun yeah so but that approach is good for a bond which is already a franchise so saif and me actually we made the mistake of we should have been making the first bond doctor no which is a very uh, fairly realistic film in yeah. its own way you know yeah yeah and uh, so on so i mean so i think it got it suffered from uh, uh, what do you say that heady cocktail instead it becomes a headache so in this sense there was too much it becomes exhausting otherwise it's got terrific sequences i still enjoy watching some of them yeah no i i, I actually the that's one thing that i keep going back to is like like uh, you know for for me a good movie is any movie that has more than 10 to 15 great sequences i don't yeah. care about the overallness like that's a, that's a little hard sometimes it doesn't work but agent we know there's one movie that has like 10 to 15 very very good good sequences and i'm thinking maybe today with all the 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 add and the smartphones and all those kind of stuff maybe today it might actually find an audience because people <laughs> don't really care about 
uh, they just want those periodic right, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. like thrills rather than what do you know uh, they're very short that rapta sequence yeah 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 that's terrific i mean yeah, yeah. I, that's, that's that's one of my all time favorite stuff of what is short yeah, yeah, you yeah. know the song and the action sequence yeah, in the middle yeah, yeah. of it is actually, but, that's but, terrific and actually till then i didn't even know you could shoot songs in the sense that i'd never seen i you don't think i've shot songs the way the songs i love I yeah, mean, those yeah. i've never shot even I mean, the mujra is fantastic you know the 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 yeah, one yeah. with the, the the two of them and uh, at the end when yeah, yeah. you know like like that that's just but that mujra has got the maximum number of views but the but the single shot song you won't believe it huh? i mean the song by itself on audio and all has got lot of views single shot song i just checked it about few days back it's only got 1 lakh views in 10 years maybe so, there are other versions ha there must be other versions you've no, not seen the single shot is just one version because this is the song like it was in the film no matlab in other thing might be put YouTube, up in other, other youtube, YouTube channels i, yeah, know, yeah. I saw youtube and one like but other ones is like 70 million no no all that nonsense so. right 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 yeah that's a, i mean terrific sequence what are the first time that you guys jammed together about a movie like like how old were you when when you saw a movie and you came back home and you said we got we just need to yeah, right from the time you were kids actually see what happens is both my folks also even my middle brother uh, shrikant uh, hardcore movie buffs him everybody so everybody was talking movies all the time okay. so it wasn't like we were going to enter this profession or anything like that but he used to always say oh i saw this so she yeah, shrikant would say i saw this and i'm might go and try and figure out a way to go and get to see it or mom and dad used to be talking about movies so lot of movie discussion at home like we Books used to we used to live in pune so what i that those days you no know, movies used to come little late staggered to smaller yeah, centers yeah, they yeah, say yeah. you know so bombay delhi it will run so and during the diwali holidays in you know, all three weeks or something we get we used to come to bombay and so <clears throat> here is like I mean, there are so many halls and so many. Badal Bijli Barka. We used to go to Badal Bijli Barka. So, no. and all the sort of the big ticket movies used to come in that time. So, Dharam Bir. So, you no, know, all those movies you watch, like, I mean, of course, we used to do advance, religiously advance book and all that. Was there something that that you identify as the perfect Hindi movie script? Like, could be one movie or many movies from that time. I mean, I mean, definitely Diwar for Salim Javed, a terrific movie, great screenplay. But there's, I mean, there are so many. Yeah. I mean, in the yeah, sense, Johnny all the films, Ram, Johnny Mirandam is again another great film. Right. Multiple story tracks which are coming in and uh, converging into one. All of Vijayanand's work actually terrific screenplays. I mean, you can no, come up with a lot. I mean, both Diwar and Johnny Mirandam. Diwar at least had a strong emotional core. Johnny Mirandam was what nothing. It's just like, <laughs> I mean, how do you make it work? And yeah. uh, and actually, even Sholi. I mean, in the sense. these movies don't follow the rules of scene when do you cut to a flashback and all that it is just effective so i think at that time filmmakers had this you know very idea of you know trying out different things maybe out of okay let's try it out you know i mean they were not really bound by too many rules i think yeah you know? I, i don't know i just every time i watch shole i'm just like staggered by that 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 film yeah. and every little bit works i mean like it's you know i don't i don't know it's just like uh, it just just works <laughs> that that movie you know today everybody talks about movies in terms of acts and you know there are so many books that people have read and all that and i'm like that was not the way hindi movies were written it was like it's still isn't pre- it still isn't post interval because you got to have a big yeah. bang before the interval and then you have that first half second half is basically our dna but now we, you have a lot of people talking about in the first act this is like set up but the third act has problems and all what do you think about that it's like can you like our movie whether it's hindi or tamil or whatever it is do you think we can apply that act template to see you can roughly apply an act template see i occasionally teach and stuff like that so okay it's it's grammar it's but it's not going to help in any manner this is the beginning <laughs> this is what happens in the middle this is what happens in the end so i don't know i'm not a great fan of uh, of examining like i always when I, i mean if i'm working with students i always tell them look it's like the ren and martin you are by if you master the ren and martin you aren't going to become stephen king or charles dickens you're going to become terrific at grammar and you might become a damn good grammar teacher right uh, but if something has happened it's terrific for a post mortem act structure is great when you've done a screenplay and then you're trying to understand why is it not holding and then you look at it and say okay maybe my setup is too long i've spent too long establishing characters i've not spent enough time in the meat of the story ends too fast at at the point when the work is done right act structure and all this stuff helps otherwise i i think it's dangerous to sit and start writing keeping plot point 1 plot point 2 you can go mad right i mean uh, like <clears throat> for me na i remember when i had come to bombay once during these chuttis 
and I must have been 10 years old or 9 years old and my cousin told me the story of Ittafaq, Rajesh Khanna. So, this mad guy escapes from jail and it's all over the radio that this guy in this area, please watch out. And there is this woman who is like hearing this news and shutting all the windows and everything and doors and securing them. Then she goes to open a cupboard and he's inside. Now, now where are you going to act and all this? <laughs> now, build on these sensations. Yeah, yeah. Now, when she's inside, obviously, there are going to be some fun and games and scream. But there will be a point in this movie where suddenly everything is still and they just sit and talk. Now, so you have to go with that sort of a, the storytelling imagination as against, you know, have I reached my act one or have I reached my inciting incident. I mean, these words are dangerous to yeah. uh, new writers. Right. And also, one thing that I find a lot of people doing now is like, you know, by the by the 20th minute, I need to have the like a big bang or something like that. And, you know, things like that. They It's almost like there is a formula. And it's like, like, like even when you have people evaluating scripts, I've seen people saying things like, you know, there are I've, 10 pages have gone by, but there's still not uh, but it might actually be very good in terms of setup is is something is happening because it's a complex world or something like that. But they want that. That's like okay, people are don't have patience. You know, people don't. Do you believe that? See, I, I mean, it's a great question you ask me. I can. It's a counter question I can ask you. Like, if you are watching a movie and you must be watching so many, and till what point in the movie will you say okay? Uh, now I'm losing my patience, or now. Where things are happening, but nothing eventful is happening because my stories are that. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to. <laughs> my next movies are that. So oh I'm my like, God. how you, much am I going to test the audience? That is really. You, a, you want a review before the movie? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm just yeah. so sort of, I thought let me check with you, but then I. So I think I, what he's asking is how much are you willing for a slow burn? Uh, yeah, no, yeah. Put it in a. Uh, like in I, today's time, does slow burn work? That is a big but I'm, question. I'm the wrong person to ask because, like, like a movie like Decision to Leave, I thought was like. Fantastic, yeah, right? Yeah, because yeah. you, I mean, I, I know, but I must tell you one thing. Uh, since you asked me, I also make it a point to watch a couple of slow burns a week so that I don't lose that that practice because I know that we live, our DNAs are being rewired right. as we speak. So I, so I'm probably not the right person to ask. But if you ask me, generally, uh, I give about fifteen to twenty minutes for a movie to tell me. Usually, I found that if a movie doesn't grab me by by when I say grab, it doesn't mean to have an that there's not that there doesn't have to be an explosion or kidnapping or Rajesh Khanna in a cupboard yeah, or yeah, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's like I'm talking about like even the world building. If you're doing it, something should be interesting. Like there should be something that's of interest. But I yeah, 15 to 20 minutes. No, but the, I'm just I'm saying this, sharing this because these are things I face. Like I may I may love a terrific say a film from France. And actually, it's working because of its uh, pacing, you know. The same thing, if you sort of hurry it up, it may just not be the same thing. And will today, in the hall, will audiences watch? Or at home, so there's like, it's even easier to stop and watch and kind of a thing. Right. So, it's a little uh, good fun, actually, to see. Yeah, I recently had an interview with a director. Uh, and uh, he was saying he really enjoyed the Lijo Mamuti movie, Male Nerita Maikam. And uh, you, I, 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 I watched it. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. But I thought the wonder of that movie is, is like if you see it at a stretch, you know, because Absolutely. it's like, uh, like it's because there's such a like an interconnectedness to the whole thing. But this director was saying, I love that movie. Uh, uh, you know, I, I, I just like every time I paused or, or the next day or something like that, I, I couldn't wait to get back to that movie. And I'm like, okay, that's <laughs> a really interesting way to watch this film because you're saying you loved it. Uh, you're saying it, it grabbed you or whatever it is, but you're still, you know, taking all these breaks yeah. and, and watching it. So that I think, you know, you are living in an ADHD time. So it's very hard to get yeah, people to just it's like, focus. But, but at the same time, and no offense to you because I love Pathan, but everything cannot be a Pathan as well. Yeah, so obviously, yeah. like, so, you know, whatever you, you got to do. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. But speaking of French films, which you just said, you know, for a particular place you wear it, you, you have a t-shirt that what says... What are you wearing today? You know, yeah, it's Eyes, Eyes Without a Face. Without a face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so movie. George Franjou. When did you guys discover foreign cinema? Uh, different times actually because... I don't know when you discovered it. For me, it was Max Miller Bowen. Uh -huh. uh, because uh, in the 8th standard, we, we had a choice of, you know, uh, choosing a language, a foreign language. So, I, we chose German and Max Miller Bowen was there. And they used to have these films that we, so, I remember watching uh, Fassbinder's Fear Eats the Soul. Wow. At the age yeah. of whatever, I mean, 14 <laughs> or something. And I was like, actually blown. It's still, I remember the movie for yeah. its sort of sadness, you know, kind of a thing. And it's got nudity of a, of a certain kind, which all things we're not prepared for, we've never seen. 
So Max Miller was there, then the Alliance comes in. Alliance Francaise, Max yeah, Miller, yeah. lot of films, uh, foreign films used to be shown there. Uh, then uh, I spent a few years living abroad, so there was a lot more of uh, of that, like that, that. of international cinema which one got to see on television. It used to be late shows or whatever and stuff like that. So I used to watch a lot of stuff there. Then remember, remember there was some weird space when 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 Pune Doordarshan blocked out or something and uh, they. They started like they like one day the telecast darkness. darkness and talent. Huh. And no, we were like, no, that was that <laughs> was. Uh, they said they are showing some strange movie and it's terrific. Have you seen Darkness and Talent? No, great. I think I think there's a festival time. They had this deal that do the festival so, show certain. Huh, I, yeah. Okay, so, I got it wrong. I was a kid. I thought. For some but, reason, the national networks have stopped and Pune's broadcasting a separate. But the uh, movie that came out suddenly, I was just home and watching normal Z. This is pre OTT times, you know. It's Pankaj Sur's premise. Uh, oh my God! This is, which one is this? Pankaj Advani is old old professor. He wrote Kavya Kavina also. It's a terrific guy. And the, <laughs> Achha, the original cut, yeah. not the one they did. Are they, are they, I don't know how they how okay. that went. That whole first shot, first scene, and all. Yeah, but there was a time when Doordarshan was show, was showing foreign films late night, which was which I used to watch. or something. Yeah. It yeah. just came on. I think yeah. it was some great time. <laughs> yeah. So when you know you guys, you know, saw that, uh, did you uh, like have a problem negotiating it in the sense that you've grown up with a particular kind of grammar? Suddenly, you're jumping into a new space. Was there mm. any like like problem, Ooh. or you just like you you began to follow yeah, it? Yeah, actually, I mean. I mean, I'll 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 give a different example because not just European film. We we kind of because we grew up between theaters. Like in Pune, there was Apollo, yeah. Alankar, and all. There was this morning show culture. So there's a lot of morning show films which were like like films like Machina's Gold, Guns of Navarone, Four Ten from Navarone. All of these we used to see. So you're seeing Hindi movies. You're seeing uh, other things. everything yeah. and. So foreign films, I mean, and for some reason they used to have all these, you know, East European films, Zoltan, Fabri, and all those films used to be picked up very cheap because they have some naam ke baad se nudity or semi nudity, and they'll be, you know, shown in these little rickety ramshackle halls, morning shows. Hey, they used to have a crazy thing. Once saw Crowley at the beach. Yeah, like well, like really arty films. Shrikant and me, my other brother, me were 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 like cycling back, and huge crowds outside Victory or Capital or something. He <laughs> went in. So basically, some foreign film is playing. Very arty film. I don't know the name of the film. Nothing. I was, I was too young. Guy cycles from one place to the other and reaches another place. But what they had done is, wherever he reaches, where he's cycling, they had cut to a porn film. <laughs> like a European porn film. So the whole and the soundtrack was Mozart or something like that. And it began ten seconds before the porn scene started. So guys cycling, cycling. Suddenly people are clapping on Mozart, and I'm like, wow. And then cut to some random other scene, and then he's cycling again. So I mean, uh, I guess these are. <laughs> no, that was very common at a certain yeah, time. Yeah, it was completely. It used to happen all the time. Interpolating, inter right? interpolating. It's it called a bit to pronounce. Achha, like okay. They insert these bits huh. where where you know the of which it's it's there. Like no, there. I I didn't see much of those, but for me the sort of the no, Shira, when I'm I joined the institute, no, no, I mean not not because of any other reason, but except that it's not, but uh, <laughs> uh, cinematic enough maybe. I don't know. Hey, what you were young, yeah. No, no. I also, there were no, theaters. There were but theaters. No, when I joined the institute, that time you get this. You know, yeah. suddenly you're watching a whole whole. New kind of a cinema, you know, much more than Max Miller. Max Miller will be once a week here, every day. And that time it takes a little time to start liking certain films. You know, that some films grow on you. That's uh, some films are acquired tastes. Yeah, yeah. Actually, before the, I mean, now that we're talking about nudity and all that kind of stuff, before you know the porn revolution all happened, people used to go to film festivals. A lot of people. I mean, of course, some people went for the movies and all that, but a lot of People used to go to these film festivals because that's the only way they could get to see nudity on screen, okay. like with all these European films and uh. you know other other things and all that kind of stuff. So that was like <laughs> so. I remember we went for one film and I knew the only people they were showing a it was Johnny Bear and Amka new, like hmm. few years yeah, back here. Yeah. And the other line was uh, is blue is the warmest color. There yeah, were like five hundred yeah, yeah. people in that line. <laughs> Need you? I'm standing in a people are like I'm in the wrong line. We are waiting for Jari Bera. I'm like yeah, quietly I'm, embarrassed. I'm, I'm, unfortunately, uh, not a very good print, so we also yeah, yeah. didn't watch it. But you were just is it? Anyway, see it on screen. Mazaa aega office. Right, right. So, right. so Shiram, when I mean, like, of course, you went to film school and this and that and all that, and you made that fantastic uh, eight column. Eight column. Yeah, that's yeah. like. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. I mean, anybody not seen it, they should see it because it's just so. Is there on YouTube? Yeah. Is there on YouTube? And and it's also something that 
that is so like it's such a fantastic concept that's been executed so a well. Terrific story. Yeah. So. But at what point did you discover that that I can do this? Shida, you too. Like at what point? Like yes, you're a reader, you're this, you're that. But what point did you discover that that you could do this? But if you want to start, do it. I mean, start making movies. Right. Yeah. Like I can, I can write, I can make a movie. Like like at what point did that? But I think it's a ongoing process. Every time you think that you are there, then it keeps inching a little forward, kind of a thing. You know. Like, he used oh, to write stories. I remember in Sunday Standard uh, or something. But all, but all when that was like as kids. But actually, for me, even till the point uh, I uh, I met Mukul Anand, you know, and before that, I used to be a journalist. And till that point, I really didn't think of uh, becoming a filmmaker or whatever. But I used to enjoy watching films, and I thought the only way to keep enjoying watching films is to be in the journalism business. And I was like, in, I used to work for uh, uh, Stardust and Trade Guide. Stardust yeah. was chucked out, and Trade Guide. So I used to watch a lot of movies. Plus, you get passes to see USIS, me, John Huston, and this and that. And slowly, then I was just getting a little sort of. Uh, when I met Mukul, and I really enjoyed chatting with him. And I felt I, I also want to do that. So he said, "Come and work with me." That's when probably the seed of uh, okay, <clears throat> is this my career or whatever, right. and uh, sort of may have set in, you know. Just out of curiosity, can you name a couple of articles that you wrote for Stardust about who? <laughs> I just really, really need <clears throat> to know this. A couple of things I wrote for Stardust. I mean, I remember one which is uh, I still meet him and we <laughs> smile. Like it was a uh, when Anil Kapoor was coming into Hindi cinema. He has done uh, Vamsha Viksham and he's done uh, and he was he had just done Shakti. I think he had signed Mashal. So they wanted to do a plug piece. I didn't know what a plug piece meant, you know. But it was a uh, like you know just write good things about him and. So the good thing is, I remember I met him in Manmohan Desai's house for some reason, and that's where the photo session also happened. And uh, that was one. And then the other one I sort of enjoyed was uh, I had to chase Nazia Hassan for uh, you know they had a piece called "These Are a Few of My Favorite Things." The last page will have that. You know, so you get the uh, the celeb to write in their own handwriting. I love, I hate, you know, all those things. So, but it has to be in her handwriting. It cannot be. Uh, sort of uh, filled in on the phone and all, so I spent almost half a day following her, but being with her, but not getting the time to do that, which was fun. This when was she was uh, Disco Diwane. Yeah, 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 that time, Star and yeah, bolo, like uh, bolo, 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 nah, kya Star is a great Star. album. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's a great Terrific album. album. Star is just like I listened to it just recently. In fact, I was quite blown by blown, it. Blown, yeah. yeah. It's just like a, but. Tell me you have these. I mean, like that you can show them to us at some point. I wish I had them. I, I don't think, think so. I don't think so. Really. No, no, no. no. So and and you, Shida, like uh, I was writing fiction since I was twelve and publishing. So whenever publishing where like uh, there were magazines like Mirror, Debonair, uh, Science Today. There used to be Science Today, which became two thousand and one Science Today. Mukul Sharma uh, was the editor. So I used to be writing short stories throughout and uh, trying to. Get them like printed somewhere. So I think I got fifteen, ten, fifteen of those printed. Nice. So I enjoyed that. And uh, then freelancing. One of our friends is a guy called Ashok Gopal. So Ashok used to be with the Pune Herald, Maharashtra Herald, whatever it was called. He's in the book there. now. He's in the book. Huh? An Ambedkar. So it's just coming out. Okay. So Ashok was. He said, if you want to try writing something freelance, you can try. So I used to wander around, try and find an article I could write. So stuff like that. Yeah. So right from the time I was like twelve, thirteen, I was writing fiction or writing something or the other, and uh, I enjoyed that. I mean, I used to draw and I used to write. So I knew I would wind up doing one of those two as right. something down the line. But right. right. Never any formal moment in life which was like, ah, now I'll do this. It was like you just winged it, and wherever you found yourself, and you found that people didn't throw you out of it, <laughs> you said, okay, this is decent. No, but so, that, but it's very rare because see, I tell you, writing fiction is one thing, but. Writing something like Khaki, for instance, which actually for me is like again one of the great screenplays for me because it's like it's Thanks. like a uh, no no I, and and you know it, it it just like when I saw it my mind was blown and I visited. No, there actually what happened was I'm saying by the time I was in it was much much later. So after I I came to Bombay, I did a bit of journalism for a few years, did a bit of advertising production, uh, print production. Then I again winged it. I got a job offer from UTV. Because they had read a resume which I had sent five years before, and it suddenly landed on Ronnie's <laughs> table. So he called me for a job, and I said, "Okay, I'll take it." And uh, I was handling Air India as an account, you know, doing in-flight inter entertainment, which was like cutting the material for that. But that was damn useful for me because suddenly I got to spend like a six, eight months working in various departments. So I could, I, 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 mean, I mean, I worked in the edit suites, I worked with camera, I worked with anything, and learned a lot. Then I went and joined Kundan for a bit. 
so i was with kundan for a couple of right, years right. assisting him and uh, and co-writing with him i did a pilot for uh, uh, like a friend of ours called arunab mukherji which uh, sorry i'm just telling you this for the yeah, sense of the yeah, background yeah. uh, arunab was making a pilot with irfan and i wrote that because he was looking for a writer he didn't uh, so we wrote it and nobody bought it but anjum saw that who was at bitv there was a channel called bitv and he said look i'm not buying the pilot it's too dark but why don't you meet x person bp singh and pradeep upur who are making who are going to make cid and ahat for them so i did that and i got into television and those shows 4 years later got made 10 years of television but now what happened was by the time i finished television i had uh, spent time as a journalist on the crime beat i had spent a lot of time working on the police i was trying to write the script myself which was what khaki was i actually asked him to do it first and he said no chance and no, 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 i think i think it was <laughs> you no chance it was but you said i love the opening before before i'm saying before that when i first wrote it it was actually the whole story was set on a train the entire thing was just a train journey it was a low budget film on a train journey and he said hey, i haven't made my own film how 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 will i get to make this and he had, he he was a writer he had written a lot of stuff of his own uh, no, 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 i met on rock masu you all getting jacked i i had met sunny dil and he told me uh, i had done one the raman raghav i done which i don't know you may not have seen but uh, so sunny dil had seen that and he said right do a film with me that was like uh, for 6 months i was just celebrating okay i didn't do any work <laughs> i was just i am doing a film with sunny dil but then i realized it's damn tough because i just couldn't get anything which i was happy with we also spent yeah, some yeah. time on that so at that time i used to watch a lot of these you know, the gauntlet and you know, all these no, he wrote a terrific movies. script actually but then i think sunny was also doing another cop Haan, film at that yeah, time yeah. and then the I second problem was, was l- one day he came and, and said Andrakshak. he said what i've written over a few years a training day just came out and he said wow training day is done in one night and it's a better script so he dumped uh, he super bad throwing stuff away we just need to give him the right incentive where he throw away whatever whatever so he's I've still not on. done that sunny dil script i mean when i meet him now yeah, yeah. he asks He like, still asks. He still like, yeah, 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 smiles we, now. He just smiles. <laughs> yeah, he gives us knowing smiles of. Yeah, yeah. but that's one of my <laughs> ambitions to <laughs> to work with him. I mean, yeah, 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 make yeah, a film yeah, with him. Terrific. So you're saying that that helped. Yeah, so, all that helped in Khaki. So all that helped in Khaki. So actually, what happened was when I had Khaki, nobody wanted to make it. It wasn't like uh, it was a script which for two years I was roaming around with. Then I met Mr. Santoshi on something unrelated. So it's actually sheer chance as opposed to. looking like oh there was a plan, plan there was right. no plan it was literally i met mr santoshi where he had called me because boni kapoor wanted to make mrs malini air tv show i was a tv guy can you come and help with advising us on this that day we were having uh, dinner and rajiv was telling me a story is working on he's getting stuck and i told him i've got characters which i can't use because nobody wants to make the film so when you use those characters these are what characters what is that story i told him the story of khaki he said i'll make it So I was like, oh, bewildered, and that. So it was just by sheer chance. I remember it's a very low-budget film. I did it almost like a Goindalani kind of film because I love Akrosh and Arshadhya and all that. He said we'll scale it up, and the scaling up happened with him and stuff like that. So it was sheer. You do television at one point. You say, okay, now I'm out of television. I've kind of run out of. I I can't handle that that pace anymore. You write something of your own. By chance, it gets made, and then you find you're a film writer. But it's not. It's not a great plan or anything one had in one's head. It just happened by sheer chance. So, what do you think of Kaki? No, I, th- I think one of the great Bachchan performances in the later Bachchan. No, yeah. back then he didn't fancy uh, it too much. Uh, Sorry. No, no. <laughs> about, no. <laughs> See, there will be a different between a script and a final movie. You know, so the final movie once it's cast is a different thing. But for me, I think it was God knows why. But I don't think it was offered to me like that. Like he's saying. No, no. We were talking. Uh, no, offered sounds as if I have uh, the capacity to offer something. I was just saying this is what I'm writing. See, I used to keep writing scripts. So I wrote one script. I wrote a handwritten. It was a script called Routine. Then this film came out. Which is that film came out? Falling Down. No. Same. Uh, pretty much yeah, the same yeah. story. And then another film came out called Dombey Will Fast. Chuck that script. I wrote another script, which I showed it to various people, including Gowan Yelani. He said this is horrible. <laughs> That's okay. It's it's about gangsters. He said it's brutal. I said okay. Dumped. That that script also got dumped. Then Khaki was again one of those scripts, which so I used to keep telling him, "Hey, I've I've written this," and he would. No, but we, we were roommates. I think, I think we also used to write a lot of uh, not so good stuff, but we used to write it with a lot of passion. Yeah, you know? yeah. So it may not stand the scrutiny of time. Sometimes some stories do stand, some just fall by the wayside. You know, but uh, once so I remember <clears throat> too many good scenes. That then I realized, oh, it's all <laughs> once some more time in America. I've just taken beautiful <laughs> things from there and 
try not to... seen gang at what point do you decide that that a film is beginning to work because it's it's there's a certain conviction that you have uh, as a writer director as a as a uh, writer at what point do you feel that yes while this making is, it no while writing it while while you know like at the, at the initial stages because the idea like one line might sound damn exciting or whatever it is mm. but then once you start to develop it uh, you may discover that actually there's not enough in it to kind of go ahead but or whatever it is normally what happens is for every thing you start i mean the ratio of stuff which actually gets completed because you think it's worth completing uh, it's it's not necessary that just because you began something i mean i mean midway through you may realize ah this is so actually so you don't force yourself to complete something no, no sometimes sure. that also has value you know but I, it depends i you answer then i'll i have one story because uh, i was talking that miss chandy kind of uh -huh. a story you know mm -hmm. now i like the situation i like the beginning and all then i couldn't i still haven't completed it. then one day with another another writer friend i just did a okay let's just try and you she, she was writing something i said okay i'll let me also try it in two days i'll just finish it what happens so it's like just like after two days you can relax good bad who cares so i finished it then uh, some people liked it also but i felt ki okay this is a good great story is this is a story i want to do and i'm not in the mood to okay sir kisi ko de do aur kamao what do you sell it off but it, it still is a good idea but maybe i'm still not happy then happy birthday also is in that zone oh, so there are some like too much no see what happens is, see because in television i i wrote like a thousand episodes so i am used to completing stuff i always finish i don't tend to really leave things midway but uh, i also exercise a thing of after i finish i'm neutral and i look at it and say is it working and normally i would say say to two three friends or give it to two three friends to read or just pitch it as a and if i got two three opinions i would put put the thing aside for three months right. if they were like because you know that just because you finished it doesn't mean that it's good right. you yeah. finished it that's fabulous now you take time off and you come back to it and say like even now for me, me i mean for example because pathan did well i get a lot of people saying you have any old scripts i have some 30 old scripts which didn't get made but there must be a damn good reason they didn't get made no at some point or the other something wasn't coming together so i am not looking at the older ones and trying to crack it but because it's over and done in the past uh, so you look at a script you find something is missing something is i don't know it's uh, but and you your your specific question was at what stage do you realize uh that something is working i think if you don't feel that through the writing of the script you it i mean you need to feel it right till you reach the end, end. Okay. and then when you get a sense of distance and you come back to it you say no it's not as good as that initial euphoria of just having finished and you know feeling good about a, a bound bunch of a bound is wrong but just a bunch of stack of pages or whatever yeah. when you see it later you realize nahi yaar isme kuch zyada hai nahi so what was the film that like name a film that gave you that euphoria all the films that you've made you're saying no 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 euphoria ah. also is a wrong word i'm not a euphoric guy <laughs> in real life but i'm saying when i finished uh, say khaki or when i was doing the film which rohan did uh, dam mar dam I I I enjoyed writing the process I enjoyed see I'm only interested in the process of the writing after that I have no control yeah, over yeah, yeah. he's a director he still controls how it's going to look eventually and all no, that stuff for me it's easier to abandon stuff because I know I'm going to make this and if I'm not convinced here where am I going to take it and who am I going to convince yeah. so there are sometimes like I mean the greatest example of uh, keeping a script aside till you get the right idea is that film uh, crying game Where Neil Jordan, Neil Jordan had the script, and after about ten years, he suddenly said, "Oh, I should do this," and that whatever the big twist in the yes. movie is, what he thought of, and it won the Oscar. And also, that sometimes, of course, really happens. But Andhra can also be midway. We got stuck, so we just stopped it. Then I he made Badla for a long, long time. I made Badla Pur. Then I said Badla Pur was like serious kind of a thing. Now I should have some fun. So let's revive that and see whether we can. So we didn't have a second half. Uh, Second half was developed after Badlapur was over. You know? So sometimes that happens. So even Happy Birthday, he was working on a script. I have always felt it was the best script he had ever written, but he got stuck on the climax. So he left it and let it go and let and kind of let it go too long. And then later, which no, film came no, out? No, many movies came out, but that's what yesterday came out. Yesterday uh, came out, which is the same story. Not not same. Same similar, meaning similar. Some ideas. Okay, are on an similar. idea level, if you made yours now, it'll look like. But yeah, the truth yeah. is, he wrote it like a decade before. Right. Uh, His story was hey, anyway. It. Forget that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. We will okay. still make it. Or... So, do you think that that he'll make he would make a good director? No. Sorry. I don't know because it's like a lot of hard dealing with people and not losing your patience. So and he's not good at that. that. <laughs> I mean, tolerance. Your tolerance levels have to be quite high. Very. Not remotely. You've never like like considered it at all. Never been interested. Never. 
uh, never personally considered have been asked at various points right from TV to this thing. No, not remotely. The idea of of uh, eight, ten hours, twelve hours a day with eighty people, <laughs> I can be nice only for a certain amount of time <laughs> with prolonged. <laughs> you don't exposure. have to be nice. That's no, the whole I think, thing. I think he has the clarity of what the scene would be like and how it would be presented and all that, but the. Physical fact of making it no, is a very really different thing. There's also, a different thing. I mean, direction. When I watch him or watch other other people I know who are directors, there's obviously a creative aspect to it, but there's also a lot of man management like aspect huge to logistical it. stuff. Yeah, yeah, dealing with stuff, dealing with egos, dealing with stuff, and I don't. I'm not really good at that. Uh, so uh, it's big, naive. You have to act a lot. <laughs> Act a lot. No, directors are actors. That is fun. Yeah, all those parts are even writers are like what a writer does on the page and actor does on the stage. No, no, no. So I mean, think no, I mean, saying yes to pretend. pretend. Like yeah. somebody is saying something. I'm, yeah, it's super. Yeah. I mean, we do it all the time. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I yeah. don't have the long term ability to tolerate something. And uh, I don't know. I I think I'd feel too claustrophobic. Uh, so I'm very very clear. Never been confused. I I would. A not be a good director because I'm not good with people long term. Right. And B it doesn't interest me. Never interested me. I right. I, I love writing. Uh, that's okay. Right. That's good enough. And I like to work in the mornings. I like to work at my own pace. If I don't feel like working one day as a writer, you have a choice. You can get up and say today nothing is happening. I'll do something. You can't as a director just decide today I won't. You know you can't be whimsical. Yeah. Uh, yeah a writers yeah. allowed a certain uh, amount of whimsy. One thing that a director told me recently was that. Uh, what what makes for a good script is that that the audience should never be able to predict what happens next. Is that is that the the secret sauce to a good script? I mean, yeah, but that should not be sort of reduced to films. reduced to a who done it or a suspense film only. Even in another uh, any kind of film, I mean, it's not about predicting the audience. It has to suck you inside. It has to you get a few minutes to suck you suck the viewer into a certain world. That you have to manage. I don't think. Uh, I mean, you have to like Billy Wilder says, you catch them by the throat to the and beginning never and never go. let go. I mean, what does it mean? It means you are just pakad ke rakhne ka. Yeah. So yeah. When you're writing a script, the only job of you as a writer is to ensure that you keep the keep the person reading entertained and the page turning. Right. Uh, and I mean that you want to know what happens next. If they are already going to give up and I don't know, they just need to feel an excitement of a certain sort while reading it. Right. Uh, so. I, I mean, I, I think that's all that really matters. I mean, Keep it exciting. And uh, for me, while I mean, so far the kind of movies is like the audience also is making up their own script. Okay, now I know what happens. Now I know what. Happens. So the thing is, are you able to subvert the anticipation? Are you able to give them a, or make them feel happy? Oh yeah, I thought right. You know, both these. It's all a, in the sense you're actually like you know directing the audience in a sense, right? In a thriller right. or in a certain genre of films, right? So let's take Badlapur, right? I mean, one of your best films, and and the genre is fairly known. That is, you know that this guy. It's a revenge. Uh, I, I won't call it a template because it's a very different kind of film. There's a lot of existential stuff in there. But I'm talking about just if you're re being very right, reductive. Right, right. There's like something happened with with this guy, and it's like a death wish. It's like yeah, a, yeah. you know, this guy goes on, uh, uh, like you know, he wants to find out and kill and and kind of a thing. What for you makes it rise above, you know, like like what the template is? Is like what makes it rise? See, I mean, the reason I chose the story is because I have grown up and loved Zanjeer and uh, Ghayal and uh, all these movies, and uh, Akri Rasta. and Akri, and all Akri the all the Indian revenge. Indian. I mean, then the Clint Eastwood and uh, a whole lot of you know fistful of dollars and all those movies. The thing is, but this is actually uh, Badlapur was not my. It was not my writing. You know, it was a, there was a source material. So that source material, when I what happened to me is I was at just uh, agent was not done well. They were all generally in a strange mood, and I was like, all I was cursing myself. I should have put my foot down there. I should have put my foot down here. You know, those kind of things were happening. Then so I used to be on the net and checking out what to read, and I just learned how to order. Uh, books from the <laughs> <laughs> online, you know. He's not stopped uh, since then. <laughs> so, 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 so I came across this, you know, this little synopsis which said exactly what you're saying: the revenge template. You know, bank robbery happens, uh, family, somebody gets killed, one guy goes to take revenge, one guy is caught. This is like, I said, okay, this is a typical kind of a thing. Let us see where does it. And usually, I mean, the amount of books I buy, some old, new. Usually midway, you know, this story is not going to go anywhere. It's not exciting you. Here, what happened is the story started exciting me so much that I stopped. 
I kept it aside. I said, let me now crack, crack the second half, you know. And again, I came up with all kinds of ridiculous uh, suppositions and ideas and possibilities and all that. And I told my Puja and Arjit, can you all take the story further? What will thing happen? Arjit lost his patience. He said, the book is there in your drawer. Why aren't you reading it? Like, you know, which is a valid kind of a thing. Then slowly with trepidation, I started reading it. And then I, so that's when in the, if you remember the movie that, that sort of, the, the book structure is very different, but 15 years later happened. I'm like, oh, none of us thought of that, you know. So, so then the story just went somewhere and it, I like the fact that it challenged the whole uh, revenge uh, film. It's actually, as opposed to revenge film, it's an anti-revenge film. Yeah, yeah. And it reverses the whole... Uh, and at that time also, all these things were happening where people were, you know, like, hang them in public and this kind of, you see TV and all that, no? it's like, everything is like, people, there's a lot of uh, revenge, revenge, hate and all that. So, uh, maybe it all connected somewhere in the head. Right. So, it just uh, became the thing you feel like doing it. Right. You know, like, okay, so there's crime in it. And like you say, like, obviously, it's not that at that point we're processing it, like, because that's our, hmm. de- that's the scene, that's the grammar of the cinema. That particular space has kind of become uh, something that you like. Have you never been interested in a, like, a love story? Or, or, or I think he would be because he once used to love Bridges of Madison County and when you saw it, you loved it and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I loved, I'm the like, one without a romantic no, bone in my uh, body. But uh, <laughs> now, I mean, I can now talk about my next film, which is a love story. Suppose I tell you, will you believe me? This Merry is the, Christmas. Merry Christmas, yeah, yeah. So, it, it has got uh, something which is not like Andagun for sure and it's not like any of the other so-called thrillers I have made. But uh, it's a different kind of a thing and I think that's what really attracted me. There's an element of uh, whether it's love or obsession or something which is of, which is something I don't, I don't think we have seen. Yeah. Did you write it with Vijay Sethupati in mind? No. I mean, no, not not with him in mind. But uh, yeah, he's once, I was, I was actually trying a lot of people. I had this story for a few years actually. But uh, so I have met a few actors also. Some of them liked it also. Some of them didn't like it also, and uh, but then at some point I just felt the casting has to be something that will make me just not imagine this cast and what will happen with right. them, you know. Then I realized that any other cast I do will be like, okay, this is either I've seen them together before or it's just a you know hit pairing or whatever. Right. I didn't want that. So when you were in Pune growing up and and uh, would you also see Tamil films because you're from a Tamil home but, yeah. but were the Tamil films being I released in theatres? No, no I, I've seen a few because uh, Tamil films used to come on Sunday morning. Just Sunday morning one show. No, but theatres I don't recall. Theatres, theatres. Apollo theaters, and all yeah? used to come. Yeah, yeah. And I've seen the one, I mean, I didn't, my parents used to go, but I used to not go because if you're getting a chance to see a movie, I'd rather see a Hindi movie. Day. You know, Which that was, was uh, so I saw Karnan, I remember. That oh, wow. uh, that one and uh-huh. that had a huge. I mean, I still remember it uh, vividly. You know, the just must be what the sixties. That that film. Yeah, the Shivaji Ganesh. Ah, Shivaji Ganesh film. Yeah. That was something which I. I mean, that I remember that. Then we have seen some uh, like Tilana Bonambal. They used to go. Then I saw it later. And it was like you know, it's a different. I mean, they didn't take me at that time. So I, I used oh, to. Vidos Kalyana Raman was the first film I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I can also... sing the soundtrack of that because I was like mesmerized by that film. So, yeah. I don't know why. I just fell in love with it. You know, yeah. he sings one Besor kind of version. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, wow. You know, I love this. So that, that I was. Moondram Pirai. Yeah, all those things. Those, 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 those are much later. Theaters. Those are much later. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they used to come to uh, wherever yeah, you yeah. were. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I don't recall this. In theaters I've not seen. Back to that that genre. When no, when you wrote. Khaki and it worked and and at that point itself did you kind of think that you know uh, oh you know what masala movies are kind of making a comeback you know not no, like no, the no. generic ones but the no. like like how they used to make in the 70s because Khaki is a very very in a way a 70s that it has that integrity of a 70s masala right. film you know it's like it's a very like very thought through but also larger than life and everything See, like that. what happens is it's actually I mean now I was reading this somewhere I'm not sure if it's Sid Field or a psychologist or a philosopher, but they say that, you know, what you experience or things which happen to you between 7 and 12, yeah, yeah. 8 and 12 are what... So, a lot of these films are what I grew up on. Right. So, for me, this was the natural state of the movies. So, even today, uh, Yado Ki Bharat, I, I didn't see them when they first released, but because I was watching morning shows, I'm watching... Imagine you every day you're watching uh, Aad Zakmi, you're watching Badla, you're watching Jugnu, you're watching Yavi. So, suddenly that's the... Uh, uh, you're kind of conditioned to oh right. this is and they worked on me so for me as a as a as a writer you're constantly trying to mimic the things you grew up loving I simultaneously was watching Guns of Navarone, Foster from Navarone, reading Alistair McLean, Agatha Christie, uh, James Adley Chase then 
your Sergio Leone. I love Sergio Leone. So I don't remember when I started watching it, but from the moment you watch Clint Eastwood, you know you're in love. Right. And you're just like Jean Paul Belmondo. I got yeah, to see some yeah, yeah. Belmondo in, in London and later. So suddenly I knew I love this space. And then when you're writing, I guess in your that, head, that, that. Uh, even Mission Impossible, for example, pe people talk about the films. I've watched all of these shows. Mission Impossible was a very successful TV show, yeah, yeah, yeah. which uh, I've grown up on that as a kid in London. Yeah. The reruns of that used to come. So Mission Impossible, there were shows called The Professionals, uh, Starsky and Hutch. All of these were proper, pulpy, nice TV shows, Twilight Zone. So if you watch five years of that every night, uh, you get uh, conditioned. P, for example, asked me, can you write CID? I mean, I think if anybody could write CIT, I could not because I, had, I, I mean, I was a great talent to anything. I had imbibed so much, so much of, of this material. Yeah, yeah. I knew the rules of the game without knowing these were these the rules. rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew what I enjoyed in the Alistair McLean book. Oh, wow, this happened. Oh, wow. And then you realize, oh, they're all the same plotting. Oh, similar. Achha, he's done the same. And then you, you're still fascinated. So somewhere, you don't identify these as the formula or the rules of the genre, but you start knowing what excites you yeah, yeah. and then you're trying to replicate it. Right, right, so, right. I mean... Yeah, yeah, we have something we're, to add. We're in the same, same, in the same yeah. zone, I think. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. No, yeah. I mean, what I mean to say is that the things you've grown up on and what you've watched at that time, so... Like, uh, for me, The Train, Sacha yeah. Juta and uh, Victoria No. 203 and these are the movies which, you know... And I can see are... you remaking Victoria No. 203. I can yeah. see you remake that. Yeah. No, yeah. I got I don't remake, but for me they were realistic films. <laughs> so yeah. For me they were like ultra realism. Till I realized ki, okay. So the diamonds are but in that cabbage. Car, realism, I mean, you know the, yeah, the yeah. what I mean, you that? completely the buy those movies. Yeah. 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 You completely buy those stories and they are extremely hooky and uh, but at that time I think we were generous viewers, the films were simpler or what, I don't know. But they, So when you revisit those films now, I mean I, I'm intrigued by you using the word hokey because you know, when you put yourself in the state of mind, they're not hokey at all for me. But do you kind of go back and say, oh, today doesn't work for me or something like that? No, no, I won't say that because I actually watch many of them now because uh, I feel today we are bound too much by logic and they are going by sensations. Yeah. Like in Victoria number 203, the uh, big thing is this key is missing. It was in somebody's wig and all that. Now, and these guys are wondering how to get the wig, uh, get the, uh, find the answer and behind them there's somebody who's talking about it. So it's like, it's okay. We would think <laughs> 10 times before, before uh, using such a device, you know, but there it doesn't matter. Move to the next thing. Well, now yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. So. No, these films aren't, actually, I don't revisit that much because I have a wonderful memory, memory. of those films as they are. So I don't really sit in the thing, but anytime I do. I I uh, like I can in. still watch. I'm completely sucked in. If I watch any Vijayanand film, any Manmohan Desai film, I'm sucked in. This time there was a there was a festival of Mr. Bachchan's films. I went and saw every one of them. And in fact, both of us, we went yeah. and saw it. And we were like, whoa, we're just sitting there and like <laughs> delighted. Amar Akbar Anthony and all to see on screen again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because how did you can see it on your TVs and on the computer screens? It's it's such a trip seeing those. So not hokey at all. Nee, Even okay, the okay, relatively like, hokey films still are. Certain films may not work the way they worked for you uh, when you were like 8 or 10, whatever, but they still work enough. <laughs> you know, no, I, just, I think they work differently. For me, when I watch Apna Desh, I become that kid in that... Yeah, when yeah. I was watching it's time travel. You so become that no, person again. There is no issue I have with that movie then or now, you know. So it's like that. So I know, I know it by heart almost. Imagine why knowing... Why know Apna Desh by heart? <laughs> no, Mahan, <laughs> yeah. Films like Mahan, which later people said, oh, this is not a good film. I don't think I had much taste or any... I just remember I was too happy. Yeah. I'm ready to see Amitabh in multiple avatars. Yeah, three roles. Like yeah. Desh Premi. Like I had a pencil box, you know, with Desh Premi. And I was like too happy. And if you remember the opening shot of Desh Premi, the barbed wire and the... And Amitabh standing there, I was like... I still remember it. I mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, I'm... You know, you just mentioned psychology or, huh. or whatever. But... I think there it was sit field and not uh, Nietzsche. But, 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 but I'm, <laughs> going to go with the, I'm going to go with the psychology thing. <laughs> because you just said earlier that you didn't have a romantic bone in your body. <laughs> Is that why your women always end up betraying the men in khaki? No, no, in, wait, in, that's, in, that's in actually Patan. damn funny. You know, you should analyze it sometime. It's no, no, it's damn funny. I never thought of it like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, see, what happens is even there, uh, I often, like when people say, if somebody says, oh, we liked the film of yours, I ask them, what did you like? And for example, in Khaki, they say, oh, we love the humor of the Akshay character. I say, I didn't bring that in. Uh, I say, K. Subha uh, like a very close friend of mine who's passed away now, Subhash. K. Subhash, yeah. yeah, yeah K. Yeah. Subhash. When he heard the script the first time, he said, sir, uh, why can't he be funny? 
I said, why should he be funny? He's an encounter cop. But he said, sir, he's a human being. Human beings can be funny also. I said, fuck, my valid point of view. And Keshuji, my producer, he kept from the beginning when the when Raji said I want to do the script, he was very he was very concerned. He was like a father figure to me. Very he called me home and uh, over a drink, he's like, it's a very dry script. Very, very dry. <laughs> very, very dry. So I used to laugh. I said, You don't like it at all. Do you? You hate it. He said, No, you've taken every film's climax and made that the whole film. So I said, okay. I said, uh, you're the producer, you can just stop it. I said, nothing happens. Worst case, the film doesn't get made. He said, no, no, why did not you make it exciting? And he came up with this idea. He said, what if she is bad? What if she's a, like a femme fatale? I said, that's a terrific idea. Why, why don't we tell Raji? He said, no, you, you tell him. He'll listen to you because you're a writer. If I tell him as a producer, then he'll say no out of principle. <laughs> so I was like bewildered. So I told Raji the next day and he said, then you call Keshji and said, see, this is a good idea. This is why I hired him. So I was like, <laughs> I said, I've been getting this. This idea came from him. So a lot of those ideas, when a film works, we tend to appropriate all the credit and yeah, say, yeah. I did this, I did this, I did this. The truth is no. Yeah, it's very a, collaborative. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm sure in the scripts, he's written a lot of good ideas have come from Arjit, Pooja, have come from somebody else. And you just don't know where it'll come from. So you just have to be damn receptive. Yeah. So anytime I'm writing a story or giving someone to read, I'm actually curious because somebody might say something casually, which you say, oh wow, that's a terrific uh, it can go can, somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, psychology wise, I don't think I am. <laughs> if there is a pattern, I don't think that's necessarily me. Uh, but yeah, maybe since I'm allowing those to happen in the script, <laughs> there's some devious <laughs> evil version of me inside, you know, some Dorian Gray version, which is. Uh, so, uh, Sriram, among your films, uh, you have a favorite, obviously. Do you? Not yet thought. There no, have no, not been so many to have a favorite. Actually. Yeah, but yeah, you, which is one? Which I mean, among so far, what you, what came closest to what you wanted it to be? I mean, I think uh, actually all all of them, yeah, including I mean, no, I don't have any such issue. Even this one is now finally it's done, so it's like as close to what I wanted to be. A few things here and there you'll say I could, but now new things have replaced that. So. I'm broadly happy with all. So you don't things. have one favorite or something? No, like that. not yet. Maybe, right. maybe if you have many, you can have. Do you have a favorite among films? Yeah. I really like. See, the funny thing was, I mean, like for example, you're making Badlapur. I had huge issues in the second half. I'm happy that the films work, but I'm only talking about the writing. Yeah, at yeah. that point, we were discussing when he was making Andhadun. I still remember from interval till end end of Act Two, which I'm going to use that phrase that you say. Uh, for half an hour, I felt the story is going elsewhere, but he listened patiently and said, no, I want to go with this. Uh, a film of his which is completely integrated and is uh, all there is actually Johnny Gadar. Mm. Johnny Gadar is terrific. Uh, all, all of his films work completely when you're watching them, but of his films, uh, Johnny That's Gadar is very that. fascinating for me. Happy Birthday is a great script. I hope he makes it someday. Uh, the new one also is great fun. The one which is going to come out next. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. So it's so, different from his point of view. So it's it's always birthday, interesting. Merry Christmas. Very detailed. His psychology. This, yeah, this you have this to ask his like psychology. Is he missing a festival? <laughs> is he a non-festive person who's trying to like uh kuch hoga psychology? No, no. Because because if you if you give a title like you know, Rat ke Ham Safar and all those sound like you know, why are we giving that? So this is like Rat ke Ham Safar may take you back to medic, those people standing in line for whichever uh, films you were talking about. Yeah, but I mean I, in fact that was one of my working titles for this. I mean that song from Evening in Paris and all that. But Yes, yeah, Merry Christmas. It's like a nice thing. There's a little blood on the M. Don't worry about that. So, so that <laughs> blood is very important for you. You like blood. It's like little bit. Yeah. Shridhar, a few years ago, hmm. you tweeted something very, which I thought was kind of interesting. You said you wanted to buy a working typewriter. I have a working typewriter. Why? 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 I mean, what does that do to I you? I tweeted that I wanted to buy a working typewriter. Yeah. Is there? Okay. I'm trying to understand. Uh, see, I have a typewriter which I've had since I was 12. Uh, and Oliver TV both had it. Our father yeah, we still have it. bought, yeah, we still have it actually. Our father bought both of us typewriters. Now I have no idea. Later when we became writers, I think he was bewildered. Why? No, I don't no. know why he gave, I, gave I, me a me, typewriter. For me, I don't know, but for me, because he was living in London for a few years, so I had gone only for 30 days. And my thing is, you can bring back one thing. So you get a typewriter and a two in one, uh, that boom box. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was what I got back. <laughs> and typewriter was my, it is my, my fervent desire to have one. So. No, but I don't know why he got me mm. one. No, it must have been because since he's coming, you can get one more. Huh. 
So now I had a typewriter. So obviously when you have a typewriter, you type. Uh, so I learned typing. I did 80, 90, 100, 110. You know, whatever those... Q, uh, W, E, R, T. All those. Yeah, yeah. I type. You should see me type. I'm, like, really a, like, a I'm like a pianist. I, I can go like, you know, like a full... full say, I love... You know that, that Jim Carrey scene where like, I don't know if... It, I forget which scene, which uh, film it is. But there's one scene where he's just like typing like that. And there's a close-up. No, actually, eyes. for us, both of us type I think like that. If you look, you will be slow. Yeah, we don't need to look. We just... If you look, you'll be slow. So yeah. you can... Especially when you're writing on it, it helps to just not look... Even shorthand, I've done the Pittman shorthand course. I've done three years of that. I've learned how to write in shorthand. So there was no plan. I also learned to make butter at the same time. So <laughs> the, the reason I learned typing butter and uh, uh, the third shorthand thing was essentially because my father's office, there was one guy who used to respect a lot, a guy, a guy called Perumal. So he used to tell me, look, he can operate the telex, he can type, he can do this, he can make waras also. So I used to, I mean, when you're 10, you think, okay, that's aspirational yeah. to do all these things. All the multitasking. So if I put out, now my problem is, I ran out of ribbons. Of course, we moved to computers and stuff like that, but there's still a certain, there's, there, there's a pleasure in putting a page and hearing the click, 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 click of the, and then the ribbon change and the slight grease on your fingers and stuff. I don't know, I love that. So I couldn't find a damn ribbon for my portable Olivetti. So I think I was trying to figure out, could I get a typewriter which comes with, even yesterday funnily, I was looking up a typewriter store because there are now suddenly, you know, all the retro stuff has come back in. So I think I've lived long enough that all the stuff which was me then died out is now kind of coming back. Vinyl, you know, LPs and stuff like that. So I was finding this place and then I sent him a query. I said, do you have ribbons? Do you have ribbons for the Olivetti? They haven't answered yet, but I'm hoping they'll have ribbons and I'll get you also. Nothing here. But the, you, but you use computers, right? I, of course, I use, yeah, computer. I don't use, use computers. my typewriter now. Like, I don't use it, but I can if I want to, you know, uh, use it. But just that, like you said, maintenance is tough, and you have to service it. And I think one of my T or one of the one of the keys is missing. So no, I, have, I've, I clean them I regularly. To, no, no, one of them is missing. Huh? You yeah. take, you know, it, it, I've kept it in good condition. I just can't find the damn ribbons, and I don't want to use it to type necessarily because also now, in fact, what happens is I even when I use a keyboard. The first thing which breaks in my laptop are the keys because I, we are old school, we are typists. Yeah, we yeah. are used to that. Uh, <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, so yeah. now when you do that to a keyboard, these butterfly or whatever, these gentle scissor keyboards can't really take the pressure. <laughs> yeah. And then I used to have cats. So the cat used to kind of put a claw in and then pluck out a uh, few of these. So, hey, sorry, I've gone to another. Yeah, <laughs> but, that's that, but yeah. that romance of the manuscript on the typewriter. Yeah, yeah. And then seeing else. the stack of pages and it's great fun. Yeah, and no, actually, even when you read the. Like you see, like you know, on YouTube images of older scripts, like somebody, yeah. something that uh, like William Goldman did or something like that, and you see the written thing, and it's it's yeah. that it's that typewriter font. What is it, Courier or something like yeah, that? Yeah, right? Courier, Courier. Yeah, yeah. there's so, a, one thing called American typewriter. There's something called New Courier. Courier, Courier New. Once, I mean, only once. I mean, in LA, now, there was one shop which has you know they sell these secondhand books and all that. So I went there and uh, I was, Johnny Gadar had gone there, you know, Mysterious Press, that's called, that's what it's called. So I was looking at all these yeah, books I mean, and all that. And uh, then the guy asked me, I had a DVD of Johnny Gadar, I said, this is my movie and he took it and kept it. Then he said, come, I'll show you. And he showed me Raymond Chandler's, this uh, Farewell My Lovely Car, the script, the, the, his manuscript. Wow. And it's there, you know, some, some, whatever, six lakhs or something, it was that time. So I said, no, no, I just want to see it. And uh, then I left. The yeah. actual, 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 I mean, well, he's saying it's actual, maybe it's, they, he's got 10 of them, I have no idea. But, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That would make a good script. <laughs> you know, a con man who sells scripts to. I've got one old script, it's a uh, it's a copy, it's a fac facsimile. Mississippi's Sholay. Uh -huh. The typed out version. And that's what's great is on the side, it's got notes. I, should we add the coin here? Should we? You know, and like a lot of stuff yeah. which came into the film later. So you read it, it's like, oh wow, this was an early draft. And probably it wasn't written necessarily by Salim Javed. It was more like somebody taking notes. Like, you know, they're, they're dictating the script. Or maybe they wrote it, I don't know. But it's, it's terrific. Where did you get it? From Mississippi. Oh, okay. okay. I asked him, do you have a copy? And I said, can I take a, f a copy of it, a facsimile, scan the whole thing? Because it's, it's too precious. Yeah, it's it's, yeah, a, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. whatever it is. Because it's got his handwritten notes on the side. Right, right, so right. All their notes on the side throughout. And the I, script hope they, still, I hope they keep it properly. I'm sure they would have. <laughs> because Rohan was very particular. He scanned it properly and gave me a copy and stuff like that. You know? so, when Pathan became such a success, hmm. uh, and again, it's going back to a certain kind of war became such a success. You know, you're, you're kind of combining uh, uh, a certain masala gene with this Mission Impossible, that kind of, uh, you know, whatever you said, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. which yeah. is also pulp, but it's a more sophisticated version of action yeah. scenes and all that yeah. kind of stuff. You know, 
I'm never able to say whether this is a trend or a one-off movie uh, that's working. What is your your uh, guesstimation of that? Uh, look, these are genres. Every genre is always ripe for uh, making films in. When war was made, I don't know if it was a trend or anything like that. I mean, honestly, it, war isn't my story also. Right, right. Uh, Sid and uh, Adi sir had a story. They came to me. I was like the skeptic asking 500 questions. I didn't think it could be pulled off. So he said, that's why we've called you. We wanted to root it and give it this. I said, okay. That did well. Was there a trend? Post a film like Pathan working, you can say, okay, uh, spy films or whatever and stuff. But I don't think we consciously started, at least not in me. I'm no, sure. I'm not saying it's conscious, but I'm saying is, you know, do you think it's kind of coming up? Because there are trends, you know, when some a particular kind of film does well, like, like how we call, you know, there was this period of NRI romances or there was this period of whatever it is, you know. So I don't like, think it's a trend. See, what happens is because X or Y does well, others may replicate it and it may seem like a trend. It's not necessarily a trend. Okay. Uh, uh, I mean, they will exist. A, a, a genre, espionage film will exist right. and also look uh, sorry the, the reason I'm saying it's not a trend is war and Pathan are one kind of espionage spy film it's over the top it's fun it's flamboyant it's large there is also space for so many different there's a grittier version there's a more rooted version there's a more realistic version yeah, yeah. you can go from Eric Ambler to John Le Carre to various various variations Graham Green you can do anything so if people are smart They'll realize a genre is working. People like the genre. What can we do more in the genre which is different from the ones which are already doing right, well? Right. If you find 50 films which are all like written as spectacle blockbuster things, I don't know, it might, might get uh, wearisome. Now, uh, now that you have a film coming out and you know, you're, you're under production for another film as well, uh, are, you, do you, do you, are you keeping close watch of what people are watching right now? Because you know, before the pandemic, People are watching a huge range of whatever, right? So everything was was go. But are you kind of now like, okay, right. this is working, that's working, whatever. Is that something that, that's... Yes, that's very dangerous for us to do because they are, if I think of an idea based on what's working now, or maybe yeah. one and a half years later, it may be not working. You know? right. So I have to stick to my own, whatever, yeah, what really point, I yeah. like, you know, and uh, hope that that's still working. And uh, yeah, there are films which I think the industry is probably looking at, okay, will people come to the hall to see this or not? That is a going question, but I don't think it's only the big blockbusters that are going to yeah. hold sway. And it's, it's soon it'll happen. The the right small films will have their own market, and I think a few of them are doing well. Of course, pricing it's a cycle, is, no? I'm saying we had a whole phase where all the South remakes are doing well. Then I'm saying it keeps coming and going. But also, when you're writing, a direction is still a later stage of it. When you're writing, you can't predict what's going to work three years. See, the thing you're writing today, ideating today, will probably hit the screens three, four, five years later yeah. if you're lucky. How can you really predict what is going to be the trend at that point? So to try and gauge, oh, this is the trend or this is where uh, what people want to watch, we can't really predict it. If, if anything, you work counter to the trend, you're, you're probably better off. Right. You say, okay, at some point, the, I mean, it'll... It'll crest, it'll become a trough again, so, something else will come by. As long as you believe in the material you're writing and you think it's working, I, th I think that's all that really matters. Right. That conviction of uh, not trying to follow, a, oh, now I'm going to make a X kind of film or Y kind of film because they like it. Right. Now, a kind of a similar question. Now, you worked with Gautam Menon, you worked with hmm. uh, Kumar Raja uh, you know, in Tamil films, like I, either as a consultant or as a screenwriter or whatever it is. Yeah, we also He's found out much later what, what we were doing in the film. <laughs> we were just <laughs> there with Gautam trying to figure out what we are doing. Is there a sensibility difference between the way you write for a South mass hero versus somebody uh, like a Shahrukh no, versus no. Some, somebody like an Ajit? Is there a... Uh, uh, you know, like something, or you just follow your own instincts and... Yeah, you just try and tell a... See, for example, the films I love in Tamil are all, I love Mr. Kamalasan's work. I'm a huge fan of Mahanadi, Tevar Magan. As a writer, uh, actor, of course you like, and yeah. director, of course you like, but I'm, f I'm like fascinated by him as a writer. Uh, I've been mean, a lot of films, Bhagiraj. Yeah. Mr. K. Bhagiraj, or Kaidi and Diary and stuff. So when I've seen those films, I, I think those films work, those films connected. So if you make a film which, I think the idiom is the same. Okay. They may, see the director may fine tune something way more, Somebody may downplay something, but that I leave to the director. Now, when you're working with somebody like Gautam, Gautam is very much a guy like me or like him. He's very normal and we can just have a, a, a very normal conversation. In fact, this was no use to you, but I haven't told you how, how I met Gautam. Because Gautam had made a film called Vettiyadu Vilayadu, mm. which I don't, I don't like. 
So I was complaining to Kamal sir <laughs> one day. I was just we were discussing some script, and I was telling him, I, I said, why did you like that film? He said, it did very well. So commercial long pass. I said, I didn't like the villain only, and I was just generally trying to understand why this film worked. And there was this New Year or something at his place. He said, oh, one second. And then he suddenly called Gautam, come here, and Gautam was there. He said, he doesn't like your film. Talk to him. So suddenly, and Gautam was like. Shrita, you didn't like it? Uh, okay. Well, you know, he's a very... Uh, so, why... So I said, no, no, I didn't mean it that way. I just meant I didn't get that. He was very fascinated listening. And then he called me one day and said, I made a film, maybe this one you might like more. Will you just see it? Tell me what you think. And that was... Uh, I mean, like, and that's how we became friends. So, even when this film came up, he was doing something else that didn't happen. Uh, there was some chaos going on. We were chatting and I said, okay, I'll come by and we'll chat and brainstorm. And then at one point, I was traveling, I was stuck. I called another friend of mine, Kumar. Kumar also, we met together the first time. We yeah, had come yeah. to IIT for uh, one of those workshop things, four or five day workshops. And I think next day we were supposed to interview each other or some nonsense, you know, like. And then we, we had liked, liked Arane Kandan and. We saw Arane Kandan properly that, yeah, remember, yeah. he got us, he got us a co copy and then we were fascinated with this character. And we loved Kumar. So next day we instead interviewed Kumar and like, uh, and that's how we met him, say six, seven years back. So all these people, I don't know, their sensibilities, like I love Vetri's work, I mean, Vetri Maran's work, I love Kamal Hassan's work. I, I see a lot of Tamil film, I mean, we like films. So, so I don't think there's any difference in the writing. Whatever it is. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. I think if something is good here, good there, it's just that. Uh, maybe there'll be a slight, it's like a graphic equalizer. No? Maybe somebody will go higher in tone or lower in tone. But I don't think that's got to do with, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Right now, he'll find out because he's doing a film which is, uh, he's right, also doing it in Hindi, also doing it in Tamil. Bilingual. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised you didn't like cash in on the word of the moment and make it pan Indian and like do uh, Kannada and uh, Malayalam and a. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, it is because Vijay is there in the movie, we said, let, let's make a Tamil version also. He's not a proper right. Tamil version. It's like not, you know. It's got <laughs> other actors also. Some actors are different. Oh, you, you, okay, you. So you the main Katrina and uh, Vijay Sethupadi are the same in both the versions. There's uh, somebody else which is played by Vinay Patak in Hindi and uh, Radhika Sarath Kumar in Tamil. Oh, wow. So it's like. So, so lots of character to, changes and stuff. And even, even, even in the dialogues and all, like. Yeah, Kumar and his team have uh, yeah, been involved yeah. in that. So it's a, it's the same film, but in a, it's a different film also in its own way. Nice, nice, nice. So thank you so much for sharing your thoughts. It's just I don't even know this was an interview. I just think of it as a chat. You know, yeah, it's yeah. just fun. Yeah, I don't know chat. I mean, actually, yeah, but I didn't know these things are coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm so surprised. I'm so sorry for no, no. It's fine. Dropping it's fine. these I, video I have no idea what what are we useful from the audience. No, I just I just wanted I, you know for a change. You know, there's always somebody promoting a film or doing yeah, something. Yeah. You know, so I just thought you know I know you guys. You know, we're all film geeks, let's just jam. You know, that was really yeah, what the agenda yeah. was. No, it was a different. That's like, you know, 20 you know, times the same question you'll answer. Yeah, and then, what's it like working with Vijay Setupati? You yeah, know, yeah. we don't want to do that now. So it's kind of, I'll come for that later, you know, when you're doing the movie. <laughs> uh, he'll be in Chennai quite a bit, so you yeah, can catch yeah, up with yeah. him anytime. So cool. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. See you, yeah, see thank you, you so much. Legend Sarona will Summer AC Mela. Sirappu Virpana. Ponin Silvan 2, Vichinadi Podigirata. பிரத்தியக அணிவகுப்பு ட்ரெண்டியாக ட்ரெடிஷ்னலாக ஸ்ரீகுமரன் தங்க மாளிகை